Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why did I just swoop down like that? Hi, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. I look real tired. Um, I just woke up. It's 9 in the morning. And I haven't vlogged in like a week, so... I thought today would be a nice day to vlog because I don't really have much going on. So right now I am having a coffee. I'm drinking this oat milk latte that I showed in my grocery haul vlog. This is from Whole Foods. It's from this brand called Pop and Bottle. And it's vanilla and it's infused with collagen. It's just like a latte with a little bit of collagen in it. I don't know what it is, but I've been getting like randomly obsessed with collagen i have bought so many drinks that were infused with collagen if you guys saw that vlog i bought like these infused waters with collagen i don't know what it is so today is gonna be a chill day i do have to run some errands i have to go to target for like actual necessities not just to go there oh they opened the ulta section in my target i want to check that out I don't need any makeup. I just want to see what it looks like because I've never seen what an Ulta and Target looks like. I have to run to the post office. I need to go take some campaign photo shoots. I have so many, so many outfits that I have planned out that I need to go take photos for. So I think today we're going to do like scout some locations and take some photos. It's really gorgeous right now. I'm just like staring at my living room. I'll show you guys what it looks like, but it's so nice this morning and the lighting is probably so bad but it's just so sunny and i love how the shadow is like reflecting against the couch oh speaking of the living room i actually changed it up a bit so i decluttered the tv stand i actually removed the fall decor already because i'm getting tired of fall decor i'm ready for christmas decor so i removed the little pumpkins that used to be here and then i also removed what else did i remove oh that was it and then i decluttered the bookshelves and then I used to have beads here and I took those out. I think it looks so much better, just like minimal and just non-cluttered. This looks so much better. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. But anyway, I uh, changed that up. And then I also brought my chair out here for my office. So there used to be another chair here. And I actually don't really like that chair anymore. I'm kind of mad I bought that in the first place. But um, this chair looks so much better with the rest of the decor out here, I feel like. And it's also so much more functional than the other chair that used to be here. The other chair that used to be here was actually really tiny. It wasn't that comfortable to sit in. It felt like a, a chair for toddlers, honestly. So this one is like so much more bigger and functional. It's so much more comfortable. I got this from Overstock last year and they're sold out. I checked yesterday. I am currently doing my makeup. I just got this lip pencil from NYX. It's like the prettiest color. It's in the shade 828 Ever. It was like $3. Like neutral kind of pinkish, reddish color. And I love this. So sometimes I use it as a liner. Sometimes I use it all over the lip. And I also just got these new lash extensions that I seriously obsessed with. They're from Bellamy, the hair extension place. These are the best, most like natural wispies I've ever used trying to take a break from lashes and nails for a while these are not my real nails by the way these are press-ons i was desperate last weekend because i had my friend's birthday party and then we also went to a baby shower and my nails looked so bad i didn't have time to do them on my own so i just ran to target really quick and picked up some press-ons they're actually from the kiss line they also make lashes too these are not the actual nails but i picked up this pair too it's really pretty it's like these almond shape yeah there's what that lash looks like isn't that so pretty so yeah, I'm also wearing my outfit. Going for the Dark Academy look. And it is almost Halloween. Halloween is in three days, I think, or four days. Three days. Yeah, three days. I'm not doing anything for Halloween. I haven't done anything for Halloween the past, like, four years, honestly. So ever since I graduated college, I don't really do anything for Halloween anymore. I've never been a huge fan of Halloween. I just didn't like all the, like, dressing up, the, like, spookiness. I don't know what it is. I just never really liked it. Like, trick-or-treating, I never really liked because growing up, I was a very paranoid child. Since I was, like, four or five, I was very aware of kidnapping. Honestly, as a child, I feared I would be abducted. So I didn't like trick-or-treating. Even though my parents, there was always an adult with, like, me and my brother and our friends, I still didn't like walking around in the dark. Like, I'm definitely more of, like, a Christmas girl. Christmas and Thanksgiving, those are my holidays. Like, I thrive during Thanksgiving and Christmas time. And a couple years ago, I went to the Haunted Forest up in Pennsylvania, Lancaster, 
which is like really far from here but we went there because apparently it was like the spookiest one in the country or in our area and i literally had an asthma attack panic attack like i can't do stuff like that i went on the haunted hay ride and that, that was actually not bad but people were like jumping in our tractor and touching you and they were allowed to touch you and we were not allowed to touch them back and that i hated that like i really wanted to punch this dude he literally was like with a chainsaw like right next to my ear and i was freaking out because it was also around the same time when people were dressing up as clowns do you guys remember that weird scary creepy thing that was going on in the country where people were dressing up as clowns and like just popping out from the side of the road so i was like literally the people that are dressed up here to act like psychopaths like they could actually be real psychopaths like what if they just like joined the staff and like no one knew who they were but they truly were a psychopath and they were out here scaring all these people so that's why I was scared and then we went into like the little haunted uh, house and the whole time I was covering my ears and my eyes were shut. Just couldn't see, I couldn't hear anything. I literally had to latch my arm onto Anto and like my friend in front of me and they were guiding me because I literally thought I was gonna die in there. Like I don't do scary things. Leave a comment below. Do you guys like Halloween? I'm sorry if you do and I'm just like trash, trashing it. <laughs> but just, can anyone else relate? I feel like there's other people out there that don't really like the holiday i'm doing a couple of shades from the makeup by mario lip palette i like to mix these shades on and honestly this is pretty much the only lip product i use like consistently these days this is my go-to so here is the outfit i have my leather blazer from princess polly a little turtleneck and then my little black and white plaid skirt that i just got from h&m and then i'm wearing these new heeled loafers that i just got also from h&m i haven't taken the tag off yet because this is my first time trying them so i just wanted to make sure they fit and that they look cute and that i like them i think i like them so i think i'll keep them hi can i get a grande um chai latte with almond milk i'll admit that latte that i had this morning the oat milk one with the collagen was not that strong so here we are at starbucks thank you so yeah i am retiring the iced versions of the chai lattes but that doesn't mean i'm gonna stop drinking them i'm just drinking the warm versions now something about a warm chai latte is just so cozy all right we're gonna scout some locations but everywhere i go like leaves are yellow and orange and beautiful. So I think honestly anywhere I go is gonna be nice. I think I found a spot. It's kind of in a neighborhood and I kind of feel freaked out. Like I don't want people to think that I'm being a creep and just like standing in front of their house taking photos. But I mean, it's like a, also a neighborhood, like a public, like there's a public center in the middle of the neighborhood. I still get nervous that people will be around and see me and judge me or try to talk to me and be like, what are you doing? That's why it's so much better when I have someone doing it for me. Anto is working, so I don't want to disturb him today, but usually he'll take my photos. Ooh, you guys, I got some good ones. Here's a sneak peek. Sneak peek, yes, that's the vibe. So I'm gonna go home now make an outfit change i'm sorry if this vlog is all about me taking photos i feel like that's so boring really started taking my instagram seriously in 2020 um probably around the same time i quit my nine to five because you know when i quit my nine to five i had way more time on my hands um to pursue the things i want to do and i've always wanted to be like a blogger not even like an instagram model i'm trying to be like a fashion blogger and I don't think I've ever told anyone this on any of my social media platforms or on my channel, but I actually used to have a blog and I would just post like my, um, me putting outfits together. That was like my first passion and that's kind of why I wanted to get into fashion PR. So that's why I studied communications at college because I always knew I wanted to do something with blogging or fashion journalism, fashion PR. I started my blog in 2012. It was called Fashion by Stephanie and then I changed the name of it to... I think it was Love Stephanie Rose. So Stephanie Rose has kind of always been my, um, whatever I call myself on the internet. Changed it to Love Stephanie Rose. And then my final blog, which I haven't had since 2000, I think 19 is when my domain expired. I never repurchased it. It was called The Modern Rose. And it was a fashion website, beauty and lifestyle, home decor. So pretty much everything that's in my vlogs it was on that website just in written form and I've always been a passionate writer. I love, love, love to write. I've written for a few magazines, not a few, just like one. I've written a few articles for this magazine called Galore. I don't know if it's a big publication anymore or if it's even around anymore. I used to be a guest blogger and I also studied journalism in college. So the point of this, me taking photos for my Instagram, is just me trying to like, you know, show off my fashion or um, share my passion, my passion for fashion. 
in photos and I remember back in the day I used to be so so insecure so self-conscious with like my weight and my appearance and I was only like 19 at the time I started my blog I was so insecure back then I was just trying to find my way out of high school I just had just graduated and I was just so lost but all I knew was that I wanted to do fashion I wanted to blog I wanted to do, to do some form of communication with fashion whether it was PR journalism writing I would have loved to work for a magazine as like a editor, not an editor. <laughs> yeah, maybe an editor, why not? You know, I wanted to do something in that realm. I ended up in healthcare when I graduated college. Like I was working in communications, but I ended up in healthcare. I just landed in that industry, but I never really like had my outlet to do fashion. So that's why I started YouTube is just to share my love for styling outfits. So that's pretty much why I do these photo shoots. Oh my God, should I start a blog again? Let me know in the comments if you would read my blog slash website if I or to create one again. I need to make breakfast. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. It's 11.30. So maybe I should eat breakfast. Yeah, I'll eat breakfast. Check in with you guys then. Hi guys. So, it is currently not breakfast anymore. It's lunchtime. I came back and I just ca got caught up in some work stuff. So I'm making a chicken salad sandwich. This is the chicken salad from Costco. I went to Costco with my mom yesterday and I feel like I should do a Costco vlog one day like a Costco haul. Yeah, I went to just pick up the essentials. Like I got more chicken for cooking. I got water, sparkling water. And I always get the chicken salad. I am so obsessed with this chicken salad. I also just changed into my next outfit and I did my hair a little bit differently. I put it in like a really sleek ponytail and did that little thing. I don't know what you call this hairstyle, but this little ponytail thing. I'm wearing a brown shirt. I'm wearing hoops. I literally never wear hoops, but I decided to be different today and do something different. So I have this brown shirt. This is from White Fox Boutique. I just filmed a haul from them and I got on some black leather pants, like super wide leg with a slit. And I plan on wearing some white, white sneakers and then I'll wear my Louis Vuitton bag. I feel like brown and black are my new colors of the season. Like that's my favorite color combo this this season. It kind of reminds me of Fendi and you know Louis Vuitton. And I just love wearing brown jackets, brown shirts, brown pants. Literally, if you go on my Instagram, the last like three or four outfits are just brown and black. But anyway, I'm gonna eat my sandwich and then we're gonna head out and do the next shoot. I feel like I'm taking my little lunch break right now. I'm eating this keto snack mix. I got this from Costco also. I don't follow a keto diet. I just thought this looked good. It has macadamias, pecans, pepitas, almonds, and little cheese balls. Okay, and also, since um, November and December are literally right around the corner, I started planning my content for the winter. I do plan on doing Vlogmas. I did a poll on my Instagram. The majority of you guys wanted me to do Vlogmas. I want to do vlogmas also i had so much fun with vlogmas last year yeah so let me know in the comments what content you want to see for me in november and december here's a better look at this outfit the pants are like real real baggy and i'm wearing it with my xl arigato sneakers i think for this photo i'm just gonna go to the garage i go to the garage for the majority of my photos just because i prefer a plain background here we go Second OOTD. Done with content shooting, I'm back home. And every time I have content shooting days, the place just gets trashed. Like, such a huge mess. Things everywhere. Um, I need to still make my bed, I still haven't done that. And I need to clean the office, cause that's where I do all my changing, planning my outfits, unpacking, or unpackaging all of my new um, boxes and hauls and all that stuff. I have a huge pile of clothes here that I need to go through. And just in general, I really need to clean, put stuff away. So that's all my fall decor. I can't remember. Yeah, I mentioned that this morning. I took all my fall decor down because I was just tired of it. So I need to store that away. Yeah, we're going to go through all of these things. I need to throw away stuff, boxes. And this is the chair that used to be in my living room that I mentioned earlier. And I think it actually just suits the office so much better because it's smaller. And that other chair used to kind of stick out a little bit. I filmed a bunch of videos this week and last week. So now I need to finally just um, clean this all up.
yes, I know it is nighttime. It took me a while <laughs> to clean and I got distracted, but everything's pretty much clean um, for the most part, as much as it needs to be in order for me to function and work in this room. I do have to go through a few things like my little basket in there. I am doing a giveaway soon on my Instagram, so I have some products in there that I plan on giving away and things I just need to sort through. So I'll go through that maybe another day this week. And then I have some clothes here that are brand new that I actually wanna show you guys. They're from Pretty Little Thing. I just got it a few days ago. So I'll do a little haul. Okay, I don't know if this is a good place, but I hope you can see. I think this is okay. So yes, Pretty Little Thing. So I mostly got pants because I've been really into leather pants. I have a lot of black leather pants, but I really wanted a pair of brown ones and I really wanted a pair of green ones. So pretty little thing had like the most perfect pair. I already wore this. I'll insert a photo of what this looked like on right here. Here's a photo of my little green pants outfit, but they are some wide legged pants and they do have a slit on the bottom. Straight leg, straight and wide leg. And I also got a pair of brown ones that again i have worn and again i will insert a photo of that i wore this to my friend's birthday over the weekend these are so cute and unique because not only are they brown which i love but they have little rips or slits in them right in the upper thigh area it's again wide leg straight leg i got these these are jeans but they are really unique because they have these like really cool stitchings on the side the thread stitching is also like a tan color so it's like cream i don't know if you can see yeah so it's like cream all around and then the stitching is tan so i thought that was really cool and then again super wide legged i really wanted to get like slouchy baggy wide legged pants then i also picked up a pair of cargo pants and these are so big they're so wide-legged. Look how wide that is. But again, I was trying to find wide-legged pants. They just remind me of like the Y2K skater boys that used to wear the super, super baggy cargo pants. I got one more pair of pants. These aren't really pants. These are actually joggers. I wanted this for like a super casual streetwear look. And they are some ribbed joggers with the tie up here, waistband, and it's kind of like cinched at the bottom i got this one top this is really hard to like explain what it is so i'll either try it on or i'll just insert a photo of the model wearing it this is like a one arm sleeve right so it oh my god i, I can't even describe it i'm just gonna have to insert the photo and you'll just have to see and then i got this tank top and again i thought this was so so cute and the quality of this isn't bad. I thought the quality would be weird, but it's not so bad. So it's just like this tank top and has like a little faux leather thing going on. I really love the color. I'm so obsessed with green this fall. The back is just plain. It does have a zipper, but it's also really stretchy. I think I can wear this with leather pants, like black leather pants with some black heels. Ooh, that'd be so cute for like a night out outfit. And the last thing I got for Pretty Little Thing is an accessory. I got a bucket hat. And it is a really pretty, like, black furry one. So that's all I got from a Pretty Little Thing. I'll link all those things below if you guys want to check them out. I did get one more top. This is not from Pretty Little Thing. This is actually from Re Revolve. This is a top I was wearing with those brown pants with the slits on the thighs. And that photo that, that I inserted, I'll insert the photo again. But I thought it was so cute. So it's an off-the-shoulder top. And it comes with a little, like, choker. And it's also connected to the shirt in the back so in the back it's like connected like that and then you put this over and oh my gosh such a cute shirt and the material of this is amazing this was pricey but the material is amazing good morning guys it's the next day today's thursday tomorrow's friday so i figured i'll do like a little um few days in my life type of vlog i just made some coffee and i am working i'm answering some emails i just uploaded a video i uploaded a loungewear haul and try on and that's up now this that i'm actually wearing right now is from that video too i just had to take a couple of photos for my thumbnail by the way this is so aesthetic-y aesthetic -y? Wow, guys, fall is approaching. Fall is approaching. 
watching. False hair. Every time I vlog, Aunt makes fun of me. <laughs> Go ahead, what else do I say? Oh, this is aesthetics right here. Aesthetics. Do I say that word a lot? Oh, if it isn't beige, I don't want it. Ah, if it isn't beige. If it isn't beige, I don't want it. <laughs> Anto saw a video and it was Gordon Ramsay teaching us the right way to cook eggs, scrambled eggs. Yeah, there's like a little technique where you gotta take it on and off the heat and you just gotta keep mixing like it's pasta. And you use the sour cream. Uh, no, it's crema, crema fres fresco. I mean, sour cream is like the closest thing. So I'm gonna cook Cause... breakfast for you today. How do you feel? Yeah, Anto's cooking breakfast. You want eggs on what? Maybe we should do like turkey bacon and then I'll make avocado toast. I'll do that on my own. I like to make my own avocado toast. So this is his style. Gordon Ramsay approved eggs. Look at them eggs. <laughs> so good. Anto is eating avocado toast today. I think he's starting to get to get a, um, a liking to it. He said a little bit of balsamic. That's why I, I put like two little lines on there. We got turkey bacon on the side. Nice yummy breakfast. So I pretty much finished all of my work for the week. So I'm giving myself the day off now. We're having a Tovala meal. It is Southwestern chicken pot pie. Kind of. There are like biscuits on the side and then the stuffing's on the surrounding. And we're watching What Happens in Vegas. I love this movie. Yeah, man. So How was the last time Where can you go? Honestly, it's probably like a few months ago. like a total idiot. I love this movie. This is one of my favorite rom rom coms. Hi guys, it's later in the night. The Packers are playing tonight. It's Thursday night. I totally forgot they were playing. So we're baking cookies. Anto's gonna make boneless wings later. Buffalo wing style. Buffalo wing stop. What do you call it? Wing buffalo wing. Buffalo wild wing. I call it buffalo wing stop. So we're making some game day boneless wings. We just air fried these and then we're gonna add some sauce to it. Here's a sauce night. <laughs> we got this at Target. Parmesan garlic from Buffalo Wild Wings. Woo! Oh, those look so good. Anto threw it back in the air fryer. Oh my God, these look, like these, look these look like restaurant quality. Why would you go to Buffalo Wild Wings when exactly, you can go Exactly, it's at home. All right, we're gonna try one. Wow. In live real time, dipped it in some ranch. Is it good? You like it? It's much different than yesterday. Yesterday was like very saucy, raw. This is like kind of more cooked. The flavor's cooked with it. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Come on, tell them about Chef Toe. I don't play. Yeah, this is all Chef Toe. Hey guys, it's the next day, the next morning. It's Friday and it's rainy and stormy and gloomy and brush my teeth. <laughs> Today's just gonna be another chill day at home cause um, I have to edit a video and a couple of other things like reels and photos I wanna edit. And I have some planning to do, content planning. And I think I'll just take a chill again today. I feel like this week I literally like was super chill with my work because last week I really overexerted myself and like I worked like 10, 10 hour days every day. So this week was really chill. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wind down the work week. Yeah, it's Friday. This weekend's Halloween. I'm not doing anything and I'm actually so, so happy because next weekend we have a wedding that we're going to be in. Um, so I really didn't want to like plan anything for this weekend. I don't like to do like, um, activities back to back weekends because I get really overwhelmed and I feel like that affects my work week because I, I try not to work on the weekends, but sometimes I have to just to like catch up on some work. But if I am like doing something every single weekend, I, I start to feel really behind and out of control and like my apartment gets messy and I just feel like things are out of control. So I try not to do like big things back to back weekends, but anyway, so that's why I'm gonna take a chill this weekend and today I'm going to, like I said, work and then I need to fold my laundry and kind of just clean up a little bit. I probably won't go anywhere because like I said, it's super gloomy. Like it's so dark today. Like usually, I know it like gets dark when it rains, but it's like extra dark today. I don't know what's going on. 
maybe it's because it's Halloween. I'm currently working from bed. I'm editing a video right now. That's my pile of laundry that always seems to be there, but I need to um, fold it. And yeah, so there's just some of these days that I just feel like working in my bed and my bed's so comfortable and it's gloomy. It just felt appropriate. So editing and then I need to find something to watch on TV. I kind of want to watch like a Halloween movie, even though I said earlier in this vlog that I wasn't a fan of Halloween, but I do like, I do like Halloween still. It's not bad. So I like to go on the Disney Plus section. They have a Halloween movie section and they, they have all the good like old movies like um, DCOMs, you guys remember the Disney Channel original movies? Yeah, they have that Halloween collection up there. My favorite movies are like Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire, Phantom of the Megaplex, The Scream Team. I think I watched The Scream Team the other night. Yeah, they have like all the villains down here. And The Haunted Mansion is also my other favorite movie. You guys may or may not know about my obsession with pho and I was really craving pho today because I mean, the weather and it's Friday and I just kind of wanted some comfort food, but I'm getting kind of tired of pho. So I ordered some Tom Yum. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tom, Tom Yum, Tom Yum. It's the Thai soup with like noodles and vegetables and shrimp. And it's so, so good. This is like my maybe second or third time ever eating this. They do also make it without the noodles. You can just get it with the broth and the vegetables, but it is so good. Hi you guys, it's a little bit later. It's actually a lot later. It's like eight o'clock at night. I am in bed, it's Friday night, yep, I'm in bed, and I am settled for the night. I have my glass of Chardonnay, and I'm watching Netflix. I'm watching season four of On My Block. I used to love this show, and I wasn't really excited to see season four, but tonight I just don't really have much to do. And I already finished You on Netflix. Have you guys watched the new season yet? It's literally insane. I finished You, I finished Squid Game. And I think I'm going to start Made next, but for now I wanted to watch season 4 of On My Block because I like watched the whole show before. So yeah, this is what I'm doing tonight. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed these last few days in my life. Everything that I mentioned in the video will be linked in my description, but if there's anything I miss, then let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next one.